That's right, yeah. That's right. You need to sound more confident, like if you know the name of my show, Lauren. It's called <laughs> Tess Talks. Tess Talks. Yeah, she knows it. Yeah. Okay, so I uh, tell us what's all about. Okay, so in my show, I basically I endow my audience as potential converts to Islam, and then. Um, basically I tell them that they've just completed modules 1 to 5 of this conversion course and then the talk that I'm giving them today would be their bonus module of integration so that when they leave and they go on to convert to Islam they know how to integrate into British society it's just full of lols <laughs> so it's a very like humorous conversion yeah it's very silly and subversive and the thing is like there's a lot of chat at the moment in the media and stuff about Islam and Muslims and their place in Britain and I just wanted to subvert that um, so that's why I've created my show oh, cool. yeah so do you have like an on stage persona it's very much this just it's just very much this <laughs> yeah I, I it's just an extension of my own personality I think it's not not so much a character that I play as much as it is just a more obnoxious me mm. so do you interact with your audience quite a bit when you're trying to a little bit, a little bit, not too much. Like, it's quite script heavy, my show. There's a lot I want to say and a lot yeah. I need to get through in the 60 minutes. Uh, but there will be points where I talk to the audience because I'm endowing them as these people who are going to convert. So they've already been on this make-believe conversion course. So then I just test them on that a little bit. So what kind of inspired the idea? What made you think? Oh. Well, I was just thinking recently, well, probably over the last 12 months, about sort of... Islam in the mainstream media and how Muslims are portrayed and my place in society and how much I love being British and how much I love being Muslim and what those two things mean to me and I just thought it's something I want to talk about and then I thought well if I just talk about that in front of an audience they might it might put some people's backs up and they might think oh well maybe he's being a bit accusing and stuff and I didn't want to do that so I thought oh if I tell them that they're also converting then it becomes we then I can talk about all the problems, but to it from the perspective of we will have this problem rather than I've got this problem. So that's what I wanted to do. So I've tried to make it as silly and as light in tone as possible. Oh, tell us about your press pass. Oh, it's, a, it's a very interesting photo. Oh, I don't know if this will be picked up in the camera. Basically what happened was, they, this is my Pleasance pass, because uh, I'm playing in the, in the Pleasance courtyard, so you get a pass. And I was asked to send in a picture. So I sent in a picture of me as a child, uh, and then jokes on me because they were like, all right, they're going to use it. And now <laughs> I've got this picture of me as a six-year-old on my pass. And I just don't think I'm going to get in anywhere. He looks very shocked. What is he, he is. Saying? He's going like, there's a picture and he's going, okay. <laughs> um, I mean, you can see my eyebrow game was very strong even as a child. Yeah, really just, strong. yeah, it's, it's, I've carried that on through adulthood. Yeah. Pretty cool beard going on at the moment as well. Um, I'm glad you think it's cool, Lauren. It's actually stress-related alopecia. Ow! So, orcs. <laughs> My life is very stressful. Okay, trying to get a show together, Lauren. No, thank you. Kidding. Sexy. Okay, so why should we see your show? You should see my show because A, I think it's hilarious, but I am biased, so that's that. Uh, B, I think you'll have a really fun time. Um, and C, I think it's really interesting. Everyone who's seen the preview has said that they've really enjoyed it. Um, so I'm hoping people up here will enjoy it as well. And it's, I think there's nothing else like it on the fringe. It is a stand-up show, but it's also called Test Talks. So if you're into like TED Talks, it's subverting that as well. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of things going on in the show. So I'm hoping people will enjoy it, and I'm I'm gonna have so much fun over this next few weeks. And I hope people will come and join me. Well, thank you so much for talking with us today. Thank you very much, Lauren. And I hope that waffle was good enough for this station. Yeah. Am I right, guys? All right. Okay. All right then. Okay. <laughs>